This is a really special video because I'm not just reporting on what the A-list speakers talked about. I was the A-list speaker. We just finished the complex L1 and EB1C session. My two co-panelists were phenomenal. Between the three of us, we've done a lot of cases from India, Singapore, Korea, Japan, China, as well as all over Europe. It's insane. And that's just the three of us. When you include everybody else in the room, other experts dealing with L1A and EB1C, we covered the entire world. As soon as I get a hold of the video on Ayla Agora, we're gonna put a link down below so you can watch the full thing. But here is some of the key takeaways. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Don Associates, where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. So in today's L1A and EB1C panel, one of the key takeaways that I learned is when you respond to USCIS, sometimes it's okay to say we cannot provide it to you I'm sorry. You can use the FOIA Freedom of Information Act rules against the government. In this way, you can say that it is a trade secret. We have to redact it. So we provide it, but we're not really providing it because you redact it. Isn't that genius? I have never done that and I can't wait to do that. USCS issues you a long list of requests for evidence. There's all these things they want. We provide it, but we redact a whole bunch of stuff because it's a trade secret. It has government information in there. It's all the reasons why USCIS redacts all their stuff well we can redact it too and it's okay so um, i love that can't wait to use it and you can too another fun strategy we discussed at the conference was to use e2 in lieu of l1 isn't that fun most people think you have to do l1 first and then you do eb1c but we talked about a very specific situation where you could do an e2 first and then you do L1 EB1C or you do E2 first simultaneously and do a EB1C. I shared about what to do if your L1 is denied. I shared a lot of creative solutions to legal problems, but if you're watching this channel, you can already find them all below. This was such a fun session to be on this panel to share about L1A and EB1C and to be in a room full of people that practice L1 and EB1Cs day in, day out. The key takeaway is when you're dealing with a complicated request for evidence or a denial, there's so many ways so many things you can potentially do. If you're interested in all the strategies and what to do, you definitely should check out the video from Agora. Take care.